Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranakhat, West Bengal, India. In this video, I am going to demonstrate toric IOL implantation. First, I am going to mark the 0 and 180 degree. This initiative is being taken by Mr. Silvraj of Upper Sum Associates. I usually don't get patients for toric and multifocal IOL implantations because I practice in a rural area and this IOL is being sponsored by Apasami Associates. This is an intumescent cataract. The main challenge in this case is capsulorexis. Otherwise, the cataract doesn't appear hard, though it is white and mature. The main incision has been made at uh, 1130 o'clock. An air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. And now, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule all around so that any form staining of the anterior capsule occurs. And now, I make a puncture on the anterior capsule and as I try to do rexis, see what happens. The rexis turns, tends to go to periphery. I use the quick pull technique and bring it back. But see the size of the minirexis and position of the minirexis. It has become eccentric. I try to aspirate some cortex. Then I use the bimanual irrigation aspiration to aspirate some cortex from the upper part. And now, I inject visco and then use the side port at 7 o'clock to make a cut here at 9 o'clock. And now I go clockwise from here and do the rexis. I usually I go anti clockwise, but in this case I have no other option. I have to go clockwise. But see how controlled the movement is. It has become a nice rexis nice 5 millimeter rexis. And now direct chop. I bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus and chop. This is the neuto chopper, ball tipped chopper. I call it neuto chopper because this is the chopper used by him in all cases and he uses the tip length of the chopper is 2 millimeter or even more maybe 2.5 millimeter 2.25 millimeter but this tip length is only 1.5 millimeter and I try to remove this cortex. I use bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the cortex. The cortex, still some cortex is there on the left side.
the toric I will has to be placed at 178 degree and I want to implant the toric I without using visco. So here is hydro implantation of the toric intraocular lens. See the left hand instrument is guarding the lens so that it doesn't tumble, it doesn't shoot. Yes. Now I try to play, place the lens anticlockwise, but it the position doesn't happen. This lens has been made in such a way that it resists rotation in the anticlockwise direction. So I keep the AC formed and use a Sinsky hook to rotate and place the markings at 178 degree. Now the lens is nicely placed and then the side ports are closed by stromal hydration and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with the help of a Simco cannula. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. And this is the toric eye wheel of upper semi associates. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. This video is not to promote the toric eye well of Apasami Associates. It is an expression of gratitude that they have done to me and thousands of ophthalmologists of India. It's our duty to let know the world the world-class products they are making for the mankind.